Well, of course, we see restaurants come and go in Washington, D.C. all the time. It's often really tough to succeed, but a local chef was the first to go organic in the entire country, and now she is celebrating the 35th anniversary of her restaurant. Tonight's working woman is Chef Nora Pouillon. <laughs> I thought it was delicious. Nora Puyon has been called a pioneer, a champion of organic cuisine, and most local chefs know her simply as Nora. But when she opened restaurant Nora in 1979, people thought I was completely nuts. <laughs> Turns out she was ahead of the curve when it comes to healthy, organic, and sustainable foods. And in 1999, restaurant Nora in Northwest DC became the first certified organic restaurant in the country. My passion and my mission about uh, healthy food and a healthy lifestyle has been able to go on for 35 years. Nora was born in Austria, where she says food was always fresh and from local farmers. Not so when she first came to the U.S. And she wanted that for her family. It was not seasonal and fresh. You know, when you went to a grocery store, everything nearly was the same all year round. So she created a network of local farmers to supply her restaurant and the rest is history. She served Presidents Bush, Clinton and Obama, but prides herself in having a neighborhood restaurant. I have changed a lot the way people eat and I think I have influenced a lot of chefs to think more locally and more organically and sustainably. In fact, just last month, dozens of local chefs came together to salute Nora with a chef's roast. But despite the awards and accolades, Nora says it's all about healthy living. I prefer to spend my money on food than on the doctor. And despite 35 years of success, she wants more. I was hoping there would be a line out the door of people wanting to eat here, and I still don't have that line. So until I have that line. <laughs> So Nora sits on five boards supporting a cleaner environment, organic food and conservation. She also helped start the D.C. farmers market. Her memoir is coming out in the spring. Tell them the line starts right here. Exactly. Sounds good, right? Now I'm hungry. Uh, well, speaking of eating, we had a great luncheon today. It was a big celebration for working women all over the area. This is the 20th anniversary of the Toyota Tribute to Working Women Luncheon. We honored seven outstanding women in the community who give back. They change lives and make the world a better place and there's our friend Kathleen Matthews Looking Leon uh, she started this working woman franchise 20 years ago here at WJLA of course now she's at at Marriott so it was wonderful to see her and congratulations to all of our winners now look at this here's one of our winners Ginger Miller of Prince George's County was oh. a winner today oh, and wasn't she, no <laughs> and she runs a charity to help veterans get back on their feet so because of all of her good work she got to go to that recent premiere of the movie Fury that we talked about at the museum and she took a <laughs> selfie with Brad Pitt <laughs> Is that great and she one? was so excited about that opportunity and she deserved it something fun for her to do she was more excited about that than that having lunch with you I, guys I think so, a little bit <laughs> a little bit so congratulations to all the winners congrats